Welcome back, Ava and Alex. So, rumor has it that you guys have a new music video. Ah. When can we see it? <laughs> well, the record drops next week, so any day now. And then we'll be starting our European tour. And then the American tour. And then hopefully another Grammy or two. Carmelo, you slimy walrus. Oh, you're different now, huh? I know what you did, you jerk. No. Someone stop her. What is she doing? Paging the floor. Anyone on the floor? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our lovely makeup artist. Liar! You told me you loved me. You were done playing these games. Get this off. is a, a, a variety show. This. We have tons of games. Oh, yeah, the only game you're good at is collecting panties. No, 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 no. What Wait. in the hell? Seriously? Get off! I don't know what you're talking about. Fufu, Fufu. Huh? You know you're the only one. Just ah! Fufu, my ass! I'm Let's the go. only one. Yeah. Clearly, you aren't good at math. I, I'd see, kids. This is why we stay in school. Go to hell, you asshole! Let's go! I'm right. And there's like 300,000 people watching. Man, this is gonna go viral. World Star's gonna want this footage. Oh, don't forget it. TMZ, Derek. Is there anyone watching in the house? Get those two off each other now. Wait, wait, wait. I'm a panic collector. Personally, I think shot glasses would have been a better hobby. Por favor, ya para, ¿sí? No! I should have never helped you with your receding hairline. Let the record what? show that Carmelo is a bald liar with a big ego and a small dick. Well, there goes our FCC license. Where are you going? No. Get down! No! Yeah. No! Get down! I did a trick. of today's Power Hour show. Stay in one line, please. New writers, I'm Ray. Follow me to HR. our HR director, Cecilia. Cece, darling, could you please conclude their onboarding process so these two new junior writers could get to work and I could get to my lunch break? Wait, wait, wait. That man runs away faster than I ran away from my husband. Okay, here is where our personal talk ends. Listen up, I've seen many of you coming in here like, hey, I'm a hot shot from Ding Dong, Texas, and I'm gonna work at the Power Hour. 
whatever, and I'm gonna have all these sexy coworkers I can sleep with. None of that here. There is no romance, no sexting, no sliding, no swiping, no, none of the above. Let me remind you that you both signed an ethics form. Ethics. No romantic fraternizing between employees. Yeah, yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. Listen up. If I have to deal with the PR department on another apology statement, let's just say it ain't gonna be pretty. After the last fiasco, the power hour is on shaky ground. Yeah, the way you handled the controversy, very impressive. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I, I could only imagine how difficult it was for you, the show, and the network. <laughs> yes, I frequently relive that in my nightmares. This is... Who the hell are you? I'm Aaron Goldman. The head office sent me to handle the Alex and Ava lawsuit. What happened to Bruce? Bruce left the company. I've taken his place. Oh, nice of corporate to let me know. Hey. Hello. Are you looking at my boobs? God, no. I was focusing. That didn't come out right. I was focused on what you were saying is what I meant. I, I wouldn't be looking. At my boobs. Why not? Is there something wrong with them? No, absolutely not. They're perfect. So you were looking, pervert. <clears throat> so, tell me, Aaron Goldman, fill me in. What's the latest? Uh, after the on-air fiasco with Carmelo, Francine, Alex, and Ava, things got really nuts. Tell me something I don't know. It seems that gossip columnist Page Six Patty and uh, red carpet host Derek Donahue created quite a sensation on social media. They started a Team Francine or Team Ava contest, and the world took our makeup artist Francine's side. Poor wronged Francine, cheated on by Carmelo, attacked on air by pop star Ava. Oh, God, go on. The fallout was intense. Alex and Ava were about to start their world tour, but the fans turned on Ava. Record sales plummeted, ticket sales dropped. The group has all but broken up. Ava and Atticus are in therapy. Atticus? Atticus who? Ava's terrier, Atticus Finch. He has like five million followers. Alex and Ava are suing the network for damages. Alex and his attorney, Levy Burnitz, are on their way now. That's it in a nutshell. They've got Levy Burnitz. He'll be out for blood. We've a lot riding on this meeting, and I'll be damned if I'll let any of that shit between Carmelo and Francine cost the network another dime. It's been hell with the advertisers this year, ever since that last fiasco. It cost the network a fortune. I had to practically prostitute myself to get back in their good graces. Prostitute yourself. See, little has changed in this joint. Mm-hmm. Shalom. Alex. <sighs> This is Deidre Lansing, head of our network, and network attorney, Aaron Goldman. And of course, this is Alex, his publicist, Sophia Bardot, and lawyer, Levy Burnitz. Levy? I, I could have sworn you were... Jewish? I am. I'm even circumcised. Oh? Can we get on with this? <laughs> My apologies, of course. <laughs> Alex, I am a big fan. Pleasure. It's always nice to meet a fan. Even one who's made my life living hell. Oh, that, 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 totally understandable. I, well, uh, what we'd like to propose... We understand your position. We also understand that you're asking for a sizable amount for loss of revenue, psychological pain and suffering. Would you be open to an arrangement that would benefit you far more than any monetary gain? What was that? Benefit me more than monetary gain? It's okay for four. 
Oh, yeah. God, here we go again. You blow mm -hmm. up, go and try and sass me? Me a mush up. Serious. I better go and get pop. Okay, something I, ugly happened. I, 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 Miss Lansing, Mr. Go. What my client is trying to say is the only reason that he agreed to do the interview on your show to begin with is because of his long-standing friendship with your head writer, Pat Walker. Long-standing. Oh, I just can't. With all this legal mumbo-jumbo, I'm sure you understand. I'm busy, busy. I'll be in the limo. Oh, and darling, Alex, are we still on for dinner to uh, square away that MTV? Yeah, thing? man. Yes, kisses. Mm -hmm. Oh, Susie, you're supposed to be at the front desk. But since you're not, make yourself useful and go get Pat Walker in my office. Pronto! I hope this is important. I was on the phone with Oprah. Alex! Let's see. Oh my goodness, it's been too long. We haven't seen each other since... The Grammys? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh. How are you, love? I'm much better now, Patsy. Can we speak privately? Alex and I would like to speak privately. privately. Let's give them some privacy. Privacy? This is my office. <clears throat> Let's go. <laughs> Greetings, dipshits. Hey, so we've got two new junior writers God. joining us today. Oh, oh God, yeah. no, 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 no. None of that attitude. Come on. I mean, the execs have been up my butt since the incident, so we kind of need to be on our best behavior. Sam, you act like we're the ones who told Camillo to be such a sleaze. Yeah, Fabi is right. I mean, it's not like we could actually pull off a storyline like that. Speak for yourself, mister. I'll have my final draft by the end of business day. I swear. Hey, what I lack in timeliness, I make up for in creativity. Hey, well, speak of the devil, because here they are, everyone. This is Kevin and Michelle. Ah, first day of a new writing team. I remember my first day. The show Miami Vice was popular. Everything was totally tubular. We all wore one glove, scrunchies, and fanny packs. Enjoy it while you can, kids. This is going to be the time of your lives. Kevin, have you ever been cheating on Twitter? Uh, no, ma'am, but I, I can make an account. <laughs> if you go back to the future, would you replace your sister with Pamela Anderson? All right. And would you make out with it? Ew, no, I I don't even have a sister. Easy to touch, don't get your panties in a bunch. Now remember, we're not allowed to talk about panties anymore. Okay, okay, that's enough. Just go easy on these two, all right? And, and please, don't pull your little stick on them, because you clearly... It never works out. Oh, would you please loosen up, man? You don't always have to be the boss. My first writing gig, they actually made me send a boob shot on a floppy disk to my ex. Hmm, wonder where that floppy disk is now. Could be worth a lot of money. Well, you know what? I gotta run. Dollar bills are calling my name. Uh, oh, man, I wanted to talk about her time writing for SNL. You're fabulous too, right? I, I love what you did with the Geo character. Hey, Sam. There's this guy in the lobby who insists he has a meeting with you, but I don't see him on your schedule. What do you want me to tell him? Uh, okay, okay, just a sec. Just, um, hey, listen, yeah, great, great. Grab a pencil and, um, you know, take some notes. Help out in whatever you can, but tomorrow you're going to be shadowing the team, so good luck. Uh, yo, Tex, Tex, you free? You know what a floppy disk looks like? Come with me. I've got a job for you. Let's go. Come on, chop, chop, let's go. Good 
see you, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, you've been all right? So what are we celebrating tonight? We're going to celebrate you. <laughs> hey, Cindy, two pickleback shots, please. Wow, I haven't had a pickleback since UT. All right, look at you, <laughs> big shot first day in the biz. Tell me everything. Hmm. Well, I got some cool co-workers, I, especially this one girl. She is so smart. I, I'm kind of intimidated by her. No, she's so beautiful. I can't even concentrate when she's around. Uh, I got to say, Kevin, look, you want to score with a girl like that, you got to pull it together. All right, stop dressing like such a nerd and hit the gym. Thank you. Oh, and please remember how to take a shot like a big boy. Can I get you guys anything else? <laughs> well, sure, let's talk later. <laughs> wow. Look who I'm taking advice from, big boy. At least I get some on a regular basis. Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> okay, but seriously, I'm not just trying to get some. Okay, she's special. Yeah, they're all special at first. Oh, come on, man. I, even if I wanted to make a move, I signed a form saying I can't. I need this job. Oh, well, that makes sense after what happened on your show. I've got that video on my phone. <laughs> I don't know why I tell you anything. Well, dude, just take my advice, all right? Change your vibe. You're not going to get anywhere just sitting around and waiting. All right, last call. Another round of shots. Maybe just a Shirley Temple. <laughs> By the looks of my man Dave here, we're good. Hello everyone, my name is Anastasia and I love being here. I moved here from Russia when I was three years old. So I immediately took the shot and I said, yes, ma'am. In Russia, we say vodka is good for the baby. <laughs> the baby. And we will give it up one more time for Anastasia Pavlovsky. It's Pavlinskaya. Right. Anastasia Pavlovsky. Close enough. I we should really fix his brows during the break. Fix the brows? Honey, they ain't broken. That's what I said about Antonio Banderas in Zorro until makeup artist Maria came along. Listen, Miss, um, <laughs> Miss Thing, don't be name dropping around here. No one cares. Estupido, pendejo, ignorante. Oh, the sweet sounds of insult. I'll take this any day over Francine crying over Carmelo. Like, oh my God, my hot boyfriend is hooking up with other hotties. What a big surprise. Mm. Well, don't worry. This guy is totally not my type. He's not macho enough for me. I mean, just look at him. How do you do that? So, are there any cows in Moscow? You could just take this. Anastasia Pavla's dogs. <laughs> oh, actually, hey, here. What's up, Susie? Oh, you're not gonna believe what just happened. What? Tell me, tell me. Okay. Well, I was outside just mm -hmm. minding my own business, of course. Oh, of course. And <laughs> I overheard Michelle on the phone. You know Michelle, the blonde power hour writer? Yeah. Okay, she said she has a huge crush on Kevin. Kevin? The tall, nerdy guy? Uh, where have you been? He's not nerdy anymore. He's a total hottie. Uh, I've been on location for the last eight weeks on the I Am The Chef show. Oh, well. He's not a nerd anymore, see? That's Kevin? <laughs> Nerdy Kevin? Yeah, see? When he started. I know. Oh, yeah. Who knew such a hottie was hiding underneath those glasses and baggy clothes? <laughs> you know, this explains a lot, because I see them together at lunch every day. I thought it was just business. Yeah, funny business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta get back to the front desk, but see you later. Can you send me a picture of that? Girl. <laughs> How do you know how to get back here? <laughs> Pat showed me. Yes, yeah, so where she keeps her booze and magazines. Oh, she asked me to look for that floppy disk. Uh, at the... 
<laughs> We've been here for three months and I'm still somehow shocked these people know how to pull off a show. I mean, it really has improved since you joined. I mean, we joined the team. Our new ideas and energy, it's really improved the show. You really think so? Yeah. I don't know. I, I can't tell what I'm doing here is actually good. Okay, hear me out. You and I could have the same idea. Mm -hmm. But the second you say, well, y'all, I think we can put a horse in mittens in this sketch. Everyone's on board. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, your ideas are actually remarkable. Okay, your writing has meaning. You go deep. I, I, I just know how to be the dumb funny guy from Texas. Thanks. Really, thanks. Last week I've been feeling like maybe Matt's a good fit here. I see all my other friends doing finance jobs and taking conferences in Mexico and meanwhile, my life consists of some writing and the rest of the time I'm forced to listen to Lance and his push-up count and Rick drone on and on about his microbrew and I just, I don't care. Maybe I should just leave the show. No. What, what, no, what, you can't leave. Well, no, you're, you're what makes this place special. Especially to me. Um, it's five minutes until the show ends, and Sam would totally freak out if we're not in the post-show meeting. So, um, we should go. Yeah, yeah, we should go. Yeah. 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 What are you doing? I'm Come on. I'm fixing her magazines. I don't want her to know that we were here. Floppy disk? Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> All right. Listen up, barbarians. Sam's a meeting with the head honchos, which means, you know, I'm in charge. So, who's got the latest writing agenda? What? What's the problem? I, I emailed it to everybody yesterday. Oh, great. Mr. I can barely use a computer emailed it to everybody. Stupid. Just in Fabiola, certified bully. I actually make copies for everybody. Well done, Michelle. Thanks. Thanks. Now see. Hmm. Yeah, so Pat, uh, now that Sam's going, I had an idea for Power Hour. Uh, I was thinking, Power Hour? Push up hour. <laughs> That's actually a great idea, Lance. I'm just not so sure that Danny Davis is going to want to mess up his suit. Danny Davis won't want to do what? Hello, Mr. Davis. What do we owe the pleasure of your company today? The uh, talent coach says I need to be more relatable. Oh, I can't imagine why they would have said that. I know. Um, uh... Fabiola. Yes, yes, Fabiola. I remember you from the HR tree. Eh. It's okay, Fabiola. So if you follow the tree to the top, you'll see Deidre. Uh, Deidre? No, Deidre. She's the head of the whole network. Just also, if you follow the tree down to the left, you see Maria in makeup. Ah, Maria. She's the one who always tells me to do my eyebrows like Antonio Bandera. Maria. And it's Antonio. Uh, you know what, never mind. You got that one right. Any questions? No? Uh, okay, great. Time to work. Thank you. Mike, close the door behind you, please. I will. The magic of Gary Goodman. And now, please, everyone, enjoy the mysterious table. Watch.
Thank you. And now everybody knows what time it is. Power, 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 power push-up push power. power. Can you do this? Let's do this. Power, power, push-up. I'm up. Oh. I'm not ready for this. I'm still shocked that Lance was able to get everybody on board with this. What? <laughs> It's a hit. Uh, okay, okay, I overheard Bob saying that this segment alone has brought in over $50,000 in ad revenue. Really? This could be bonuses. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you. Fabi said she's willing to mentor me on character work. <laughs> That's amazing. No. Oh, well, I did agree to walk her dog, Jacques, for the rest of the year, but it'll be worth it. Good for you, but yikes. I have seen Jacques. He looks like Napoleon reincarnated into a chihuahua. It's very accurate. <laughs> He's got quite the dude, but his dog mom is a damn good writer, so this will be worth it. I'm willing to put up with it. Oh, I believe you. You are a pro at handling situations. Well, I wouldn't say I'm a pro, but, you know. What would you say? <gasps> That's my Jacques alarm. I have to go. Um, see you at lunch? Yeah, yeah, um, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go walk a dog. Jacket? Yeah, I need that. Is it healthy food again? Listen, I got news. Did you hear that Dan is leading Conan to write for Fallon? I can top that. Jacob is getting the boot at CBS. Oh, that's terrible. What's going on over there? Oh, nothing. They're just co-workers. But we give them such a hard time. Last week, Rick actually glued Kevin's desk for a shot. <laughs> it was absolutely hilarious. She is really sharp, though. Lots of potential there. Well, with brains and looks, she can have it all. She could be behind or in front of the camera. Could be young again. <laughs> Knock it off. You've been on fire for decades. <laughs> well... I'm not dead yet. I've still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve. Pat, you are and always will be a legend. You will outlast us all. <laughs> yep, you got that right. And on that note, I have other news. Well, don't any wait. Spill it. The power hour is up for an Emmy. What? In which category? Outstanding writing for a variety series. With everything that happened? I'm blown away. I can't believe it. Yep. And you know, you had a lot to do with this. I'm in shock. <laughs> the big brass are going to officially announce it at a big soiree tomorrow night. Oh. Time to put on our best duds and partay. <laughs> and remember, mum's the word till the party. You're eating. Uh, uh, Ricky, you're looking sharp. Oh, thanks, bud. Uh, but, uh... What's the occasion? I mean, don't get me wrong, I like getting spiffy and uh, enjoying an open bar like the next guy, but uh, it's getting between my workout time. Yeah, <laughs> just chill out and enjoy the party. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Can I please get some more of those stuffed mushrooms? They were really good. What? I don't work here. Oh, sorry. I told you to wear a cocktail dress. Whatever, okay? Would you like the stuffed mushroom? <clears throat> yep. What is so funny? <laughs> what, I, 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 I look like the waiter? Oh my god. I'm supervising the kitchen with my kids. DC, this is a party. Enough about your divorce. Have a drink and relax. May I have another glass of champagne, please? What? I don't work here, okay? It's fine. You don't have to yell. Oh my God. You better walk her. Yeah? I love your sister. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Drinks are over there, all right? You're a stuff. Oh my God, everybody thinks I look like the damn waiter. I don't understand well, this. This is crazy. Oh, Jess, this tooth are Jimmy Choose the same ones J-Lo has? Uh, please give it a rest. Do I smell YSL Mon Paris? Wee oui, wee, oui, girlfriend. 
suggest it was a little gift from Poof Daddy's wife party. He has the best swag. Don't get her started on her daddies. Welcome everyone in the WXGH family and a special welcome to the members of the press that are here tonight. May I have your attention please? It is my honor to introduce Ms. Deidre Lansing, the head of our network. Well, hello. It's so good to see all of you. Now, as most of you know, it's been an interesting year here at WXGH. However, we have moved on with integrity and fortitude and we will not let anything stand in our way of success. And on that note, it gives me great honor to make a very exciting announcement. Everyone, raise your glasses as we toast the Power Hour, which has just been... Nominated for an Emmy. Well, I can't imagine there's any confusion as to why I've asked you all here today. I should fire each and every one of you for the continued disgrace you've caused this network. Last week's event was supposed to be a classy, exciting party with a stellar industry announcement that would have brought honor and grace back to the studio and power hour. But instead, <laughs> we are once again a laughing stock, and our ridiculousness is again being publicized everywhere. Which is worse, JLo's love life or the sour hour? Yeah, we're viral. Let's start with you, Miss HR Director. It is my understanding that it is your job to make sure all employees are aware of and sign off on our non-fraternizing policy. Yes, ma'am. And I think it's best if we no, do- No, no, no. And Bob, this is your show. How did you miss what was going on right under your nose? It's a big studio. I can't be everywhere all the time. No, no, no. And Sam. Oh, Sam. You are the producer. How did you miss the two of them fooling around? I pulled security footage. Apparently, they've been marking the studio like animals for months. Nice. Which brings me to you, Pat. What was your part in all of this? You were mentoring Kevin. You didn't have a clue what was going on? Pat! In all fairness, I'm not sure why I'm actually in this meeting. I'm not corporate management. No offense. Offense taken. They just seemed like two nice kids, learning the ropes in a new environment, trying to figure it all out, you know? Yeah, I do know. I know that you've been offered power hour upper management positions on three occasions, and you've turned them down three times. Yes, because I'm much better suited writing Emmy award winning shows. I have two Emmys, you know. Right again. But, Pat, Sam has just accepted the producer job on I Am The Chef, and Bob will be retiring very soon, so you had better get used to literally running the show. Effective immediately, you are now the Power Hour's new showrunner. What? It's your baby now. Wait a minute. Don't I have something to say about this? No, you don't. You just renewed your contract, which explicitly states that in a case like this, you must step up. So, it's settled then. Now, Pat, what do you think we should do about Kevin and Michelle? Well, what they did is a fireable offense. And to top it all off, they did it at a corporate event. They both signed the WXGH, no fraternizing oath. They knew the rules. Nobody is firing anyone. 
They're both very talented writers, and if I'm in charge, I'll take full responsibility for both of them. Pat, are you sure about this? Just give me a little bit of time. I mean, I gotta get to the bottom of all this, do a little damage control. I mean, you know, I may have a couple of ideas, right. but I'm just... Get busy then. <laughs> oh, and Pat, Jenny Davis's numbers. They're slipping. <laughs> Deal with it. <sighs> Ah, and all of you, get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay, I can do this. I just need to stay calm and not lose my cool. Oh, I made one mistake, one little mistake. It's not the end of the world, right? Oh, but it's a big mistake. I signed a waiver saying I wasn't gonna make that mistake. Okay, okay, what's the worst that could happen? They could fire me. That'd be really bad. Oh, that'd be really, really bad. I have credit cards to pay for, and I have student loans to pay for, and I have rent to pay for. Okay, be cool. I'm fine, I'm gonna be fine. I'm just gonna apologize and hope for the best. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'm gonna walk in there. I'm gonna walk in there with confidence. Yeah, with confidence. And I'm gonna steer the conversation. Mm-hmm, okay. I am a strong, confident professional. I can do this. Oh. You know what? You're a really good listener. <sighs> You're not learning, Liz. I don't understand these people. Let's be in charge of everything. He's upset. What? What's going on here? Why are you all standing around here? Uh, maintenance must have locked the door and I can't find my keys. Okay, and what did maintenance say? Uh, about? 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 You didn't call him, did you? Uh, yeah, no, but I'd like to say it might- No. Lance, did you? Uh, no. What's going on here? Susie told us everything. <sighs> wow, news travels fast. Well, we are in news media. Don't. Pat, we are really, really grateful that you stood up for us and that we didn't get fired. We are mortified by our behavior and uh, we don't really mess things up. Okay, we're gonna get to that soon enough. Lance, do you still have connections at that trendy PR company? Absolutely, yes. Set up a lunch meeting for me, would you? Will do, boss. Okay. Rick, do you remember that talent agent that we met at that conference we went to at the Fountain Blue Hotel? Yeah, a uh, Paul something or other? Yes, right, Paul. Do you still have his number? Yeah, I think so. Okay, great. Be a doll and text it to me. Listen, guys, I got a lot of fires to put out. Get the damn door open and start writing the show. Now, as for you two. Wait a minute. Where the hell is Kevin? Wasn't he just here? No. I don't know where he is. I've been calling him all morning. He's not answering. Last I heard, he's so embarrassed about what happened. He said he's never going to show his face here again. Hmm, a coward. And what about you? I'm here to face the music. Whatever happens, happens. Bravery. I like it. Smart girl. I see great things in your future. All right, listen up, boys and girls. I'm going to be missing in action for a while. Take care of business. I'm already on the fault maintenance. Got it. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't believe that you guys are bailing on me now. Pat, I've been honest with you. I've been trying to get off of this show for a long time. An opportunity showed up and I took it. But hey, I'm still gonna be at the network, just, you know, on a different set. And it was only a matter of time for me. Pat, I'm burned out. It's affecting my sex life. Look, it's time I pass the baton to you. And listen, after two incidents on my watch, you know my days are numbered. Besides, wife number three has been on my case about the long hours. We haven't even, you know, uh, bow chicka wow wow in months. Oh my God, I don't want to know. Listen, guys, you got to stick with me here. We're a team. I can't do this alone. Pat, we've been friends for 10 years. Relax, I've got your back. I'll always be here for you, you know that. Pat, 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 pat. You got this. No, famous last words. Oh, yeah, she's doomed. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> Found it. Mm. Wanted to see me? 
Michelle. Have a seat. Michelle, I really admire the way you've been handling yourself the last few weeks. So much so that I have a new opportunity for you that I think you're going to be very excited about. I'm all ears. I'd like to officially offer you the position of the Power Hour's new on-air entertainment reporter. You'll be working remotely most of the time. What do you think? Oh, what do I think? What do you think I think? That's fantastic. I love it. Thank you. That's great. Your first on-location gig is going to be at the upcoming Grammys. Oh. Listen, aside from your little escapade with Kevin, you've done some amazing work here. Head down to HR, take care of the paperwork. I'm on the way. Thank you. Really? Thanks, Pat. Ah! You must be Pat Walker. Guilty as charged. It is so nice to meet you. Likewise. Would you like a cup of coffee? Oh, no thanks. I'm all set. Great. So, Aubrey, I saw your reel. Very impressive hosting experience. Thank you. And your agent said you're available right away? Yes, I just wrapped my last project, so I'm good to start whenever you need me. Great. Well, the Power Hour just won an Emmy, and... Well, you mean you won another Emmy for best writing of a variety show. Oh, somebody's uh, done their homework. <laughs> yeah, we're all very proud. But there are some bumps in the road. You know, I can't go into everything right now, but I'm the Power Hour's new showrunner. <laughs> and we need some chutzpah. <laughs> well then, how can I help? Let me be honest. Danny Davis's numbers are slipping, and I want to hire you as the show's co-host to help turn things around. Can I count on you to bring some creative normalcy to the show? <laughs> creative normalcy? <laughs> well, can you be more specific? Yeah, the show needs a strong female presence and someone to balance out Danny's forgetfulness, for goodness sakes. And you know what else? We need to keep the show sane. Well, he is, uh... Entertaining. Oh yeah, one of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you more details if you accept the job. Accepted. I'm your girl. Great, congratulations. Welcome to the team. Oh, and Ugh. before I forget, we just redesigned the Power Hour set. It's really beautiful. You're going to love it. <phone rings> oh, hey, listen, I've got to take this call. Would you excuse me? Go ahead. Hey, give me one second. I'm just, I'm just getting out of a meeting. One minute, okay? Just, just hold the line. Anyway, you start next Monday, 9 a.m. orientation. Welcome to WXGH. You're gonna be great. <laughs> I'm on my way, okay? See you then. You got okay, it. One second, I'm on my way. Yeah, all right, I'm coming. <laughs> okay. Surprise! <laughs> Look at me. If I knew you were coming over, I would you have at least. Fine, you're gonna let me in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah. You aren't allergic to dogs, are you? No, I'm fine. So, uh, to what do I owe the pleasure? Franny, we've missed you. It just hasn't been the same without you around. Oh, you're sweet. Gesundheit. I've been meaning to thank you. You were the only one who visited me at the psych... at the hospital. I guess when you have a full-fledged meltdown on national television and beat up a host and a pop star on air, people tend to steer clear and write you off. I'm what you call unemployable. Now it's just me and Molly. Doing what we can to support one another. Freddy, can I have a glass of water? Pat, I've got some bad news. I couldn't pay the water bill, so they cut it off. Any juice? Afraid not. No food either. Unless you want dog food. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Mm. Mm. Franny, the times, they are a-changing. You can pay all your bills. I've got a new opportunity for you. That's why I came by today. What kind of new opportunity? I'm the Power Hour showrunner now. 
Bob is retiring and I want to make some big changes. What? You're showrunner now? Yes, and I promoted Michelle, one of the junior writers, to be the Power Hour's new on-air entertainment reporter. She's going to be doing lots of remote gigs, including the upcoming Grammys. Wow. And she is going to need her own personal makeup artist, someone really good. You interested? I don't understand. Francine, work with me please. Try to keep up. Maybe share some of those good meds you're on. But you're serious about this, aren't you? Yes, I am. Well, of course I'm interested. Why wouldn't I be? You hear that, Molly? We're back in business. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Welcome back to the Power Hour. You too, Molly. What fun. Let's give a round of applause for Ibele Nita House and her dancing dogs. Thanks, Danny. Now let's take you to our live feed of the Grammys. Our entertainment reporter, Michelle Myers, is in Las Vegas. Over to you, Michelle. Nita House. Oh, my God. Wow, you look amazing. Thank you. You too. Oh, thank you. Hello, Miami music fans, Aubrey and Danny. I'm reporting to you live on the red carpet at the Grammys, and I see some of our presenters are arriving right now. Let's take a look at Noel Sanders doing his red carpet entrance. No! 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 It's me, Simone! Your biggest fan! Oh, I love you! Oh, can we take a selfie, please? Oh, I love you! Oh, please! Oh! Oh! Noel Sanders has arrived. So, Noel, I understand you're presenting the Outstanding Achievement in the Music Industry Award tonight. That's right, Patty. And as you may remember, I won the award some years ago. And you may also recall that last year I was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So it's a double honor to be here at the Grammys to present tonight. Well... As you can hear, the fans have gone wild. That's right, Patty. Pop star Alex has just arrived. Let's say hello. <laughs> and look who's on his arm. Emmy winner, Pat Walker. Alex, congratulations on your nomination for Best New Song. What would you like to say to all our viewers at home? Thanks for that, Derek. Well, first of all, I'm so delighted to be here tonight. Unfortunately, Ava wasn't able to join us this evening, but I speak for both of us in saying thank you from the bottom of our hearts to all of our fans all around the world for the love. And obviously, I am very excited and truly honored to be nominated again. God bless you all. Alex, Michelle Myers here with the Power Hour. How about a shout out for your Miami fans? Woo, hello Miami. One of my favorite destinations in the world. I mean, what more can I say? 305 rocks. You truly are the magic city. Thank you, Alex. Good luck. Thank you. <gasps> oh. Wow, thanks. That spill could have ruined my entire night and the Power Hour broadcast. Well, I guess this means I'm your knight in shining armor. Don't worry. I got you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that Pat Walker with Alex? Oh my god, it is. I no puede ser. Pero how? Oh yeah, there have been rumors about them for years. They go way back. I mean, they've never been caught in the act, if you know what I mean, but... I mean, now that Pat's won her third Emmy and Alex is up for another Grammy, it's just good PR for them to be seen together, you know? <laughs> but I think there's definitely something going on there. For sure. Well, 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 Pat, you go, girl! Oh! Hey, Here lady. you guys go. Hey, where's my drink? I've been waiting already 20 minutes, lady. Hey, lady, what are you calling the big show? What's this guy gonna do? What are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? Well, hello, everyone. We have a special treat for you tonight. Now, many of you know our fabulous waitress, Cindy. <laughs> but tonight, Cindy has a special treat for us. Because what you don't know is that Cindy is also a terrific singer. So in honor of tonight's Grammy Awards, Cindy is going to grace us with a song. 
So please put your hands together and give a warm Miami welcome to Cindy. All right, hi everyone. A little something I wrote recently. I hope you guys like it. Sure as hell am now. That was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Guess you're becoming quite the regular. What is this your fourth time here this week? Yeah, I guess my uh, secret's out. <laughs> Come on, Cindy. I've been asking you out for months. You know, one of these days I hope you'll take me up on my offer and go out with me. Wow. Okay, all right, I get it. I get it. Hey, you know, I'm supposed to be meeting my buddy Kevin, but he's like super late. You haven't seen him, have you? You mean the tall guy from Texas that you always hang out with? Yeah, that's yeah. him. Yeah, oh, he was here. So he was watching the Grammys, screaming at the TV, causing a huge commotion. I had to cut him off, and then he yelled at me. Oh my god. The bouncer had to take him out. What? That's not good. I know. That explains all the unanswered texts. I mean, he probably took an Uber home. You know, he's really just lost it ever since he and his girlfriend Michelle broke up. Yeah, he was going on and on about some breakup. I really thought he was a nice guy, but... After the way he yelled at me, I really saw a different side of him. I figured you'd seen it all by now, you know, working at a bar. <laughs> I've definitely seen a lot. And actually, not for much longer because in five minutes when my ship is up, this place and I are history. Really? Yeah, my band got a record deal. Can you believe it? Oh my God, that's amazing. Thank you. And this job was just an in-between until uh, the music picked up, so. Yeah. That's it. Well, I'm probably never gonna see you again, so I would love to buy you dinner. I'll take you someplace nice, a proper date, so we can celebrate your success. I don't bite, I promise. It'll be fun. You know, I gotta give you brownie points for persistence. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I guess now that my boyfriend and I broke up, you know what, why not? Yeah? Yeah. All right, hey. <laughs> 30th time's the charm. It's 36. But who's counting? You are, apparently. <laughs> hey, Francine. Welcome back. So, how was it being at the Grammys? Well, I was backstage mostly, but it was a real game changer for me. The creative energy was incredible. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> Did you meet anyone famous? I don't want to brag, but yes. Sir Elton, Adele, Noel Sanders, <sighs> just to name a few. Michelle interviewed all of them, and there I was, standing by with my trusty powder brush. <laughs> oh, it's weird. One day, I'm recovering from a nervous breakdown, unemployed, no prospects. And then, I'm at the Grammys. <laughs> Go figure. Welcome to showbiz. <laughs> so what about you? How are you liking WXGH? And what's new at the Power Hour? All's good here. I'm settling in fine. 
But I gotta say, there's a lot of drama around here. Wait, what I miss? Well, according to Susie, who seems to know everything around here, um, Kevin, he's really lost it. Michelle read him the riot act when he wouldn't come back to work. He moved back to Texas, just like that. Oh, I'd wondered about that. I'd heard them arguing over the phone, but I couldn't exactly hear what she was saying. I don't care, I don't care about, you know what? I don't care what you do. We're done. That explains it. But Michelle kept it together through it all. If I hadn't heard her arguing on the phone, I wouldn't have known anything was wrong. Mm. She's a real pro. Yeah. No one's even seen or heard from Kevin. He just walked off the job. Mm. Pat went to bat for both of them. It's not a good idea to cross Pat. She's got a lot of power at the station and in the entertainment world. Yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> so, what was Adele wearing? <laughs> so, yeah, I totally heard them having sex in the bathroom. Oh, the 400,000, then we can finally get him off our back. Hello, Susie. Hi, Mr. Goldman. I'm here to see uh, Deidre Lansing. Oh, sure, I'll let her uh, know you're here. Yes. Miss Lansing. I have attorney Aaron Goldman in the lobby to see you. Oh. Mm. Send him up, Susan. She just finished a meeting in the new conference room. I'm going that way too. <clears throat> I'll show you where it is. Shut the door. Somebody is gonna catch us! Mr. Goldman, you forgot your phone. All right, what's it gonna take to shut you up? And we're live! That's right! <clears throat> It's hurricane season. Not the best time to take a dump. I, I mean dunk. I mean dip in the pool. And we're looking at Could you believe that stupid just chuffed me? Get over it, Chiquita. We were going live. You're in the shot. What'd you expect? No me importa. That's just so rude. Nobody chuffs Maria. Well, you gotta leave your ego at the door because not everything's about Maria. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. She wants a storm. I bring her the storm. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on now, no, no. What, are you crazy? What did you do to her face? A hurricane system coming up the coast uh, with winds at 130 miles per hour. Uh, it seems like a category three. Let's take a look at the GFS model. Not good, Maria. No bueno. I was an award-winning writer on a TV show, and you were a famous pop star. It was amazing, and it all seemed so real. Pop star? That does sound amazing, and I could see you being a writer, but back to reality, sweetheart. We've both been laid off, and we need to go look for work today, and the kids need to be driven to school. And I'm pretty sure the dog just threw up. So please, get up, get up, get up! Okay, okay. Cops are here. Oh God. 
License and registration, please. Officer, what did I do? Just give us what we asked for, ma'am. What's going on over there? I don't know, but I'm filming everything just in case. Yeah, it's a good idea. Looks like there's kids in the car. Yeah, there are. And that woman looks kind of familiar. What are you idiots doing? Oh, hey there, Cap. Yeah, we got the car pulled over on the side here to fit the description on dispatch. The silver SUV with the lady in front and the two kids in back. No. We're looking for a male in a red sedan, not a lady with two kids in a silver SUV. Can't you idiots ever get anything right? Let her go. I am so sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. You're free to go. Cafe con leche? That's it. Welcome. Enjoy. Oh! Sorry. Uh, uh, uh. What's out? You know what? You bumped into me, you asshole. Dumb I'm shit. I miss you too. I'm at I'm at work. Okay. Mm -hmm. I gotta go. No, I'm gonna make it a oh, double. Oh, me? No, 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 whatever. You know. What is wrong with you people? I have a package here for. I really need a house. I need a signature. Hello? Hi, Pat. This is Bob from the Employment Agency. We have a unique entry-level position available at that big studio, WXGH in Miami. Can you come in tomorrow morning for an interview? Of course. What's the address? WXGH, and we're live. She's gonna be doing lots of remote, remote. She's gonna be doing lots of remote. <laughs> Let's start that part again. Yeah, I frequently live it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Day fall? Right now? Is there not a box in the way? I was gonna say shit. <laughs> don't move, don't move, we're still rolling. There's a hair on my tongue. Okay. I'd like to kick it off if you don't like. Oh, that was my line, sorry. <laughs> on your show to begin with, because of his long standing friendship with your head director. Well, with you, I'm sorry. Well, with you, I'm sorry. <laughs> we also understand that you're asking for a sizable amount of. Of, uh, of yes, so we will do that again. We also understand that you are asking for a sizable amount of shit. What is it? <laughs> what? Well, well, add you, add you. <laughs> no, no, it's a problem. Okay, okay, good. Yeah. Woo. Uh, say your last line, Susie. Double honor to be at the Grammys tonight to present. <laughs> and another apology statement. <laughs> Let's just say it ain't gonna be pretty. Okay, uh, f sorry, that last sentence after the last fiasco, you did not take that or use that in a blooper. Okay, right again. But Pat, um, Sam, don't worry. <laughs> Line. Hi, Mr. Goldberg. <laughs> Goldman. <laughs> Alex, Michelle here with the Power Hour. Can I get a big shout out, fans? <laughs> I won't look at you. Deidre, wait. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> I was gonna, my, my knee was gonna go to a very It's all right, place. it's all right. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.